Welcome to another episode of the JB and Millie channel. Hi guys! So before we start this kind of discussion slash rant slash whatever this is, I want to kind of add a disclaimer that we actually don't know if this is fully game's fault or if it's Pokemon's fault or if it's Nintendo's fault. Now, what we can say is that before the lockdown and everything, we did absolutely love going into game to shop. We've always supported them. And to be honest, we had an incident relatively recently where they were actually really, really helpful. So again, we don't know exactly who made this final decision or if it's even going to be rectified. But what we do know is that there definitely is some mistakes being made. So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, so, basically this controversy starts on the 6th of December, so very recently, where Game.UK tweeted out, The mythical Pokemon Zarude is swinging into game. Pick up your free code in store today. And instantly, this has been met with like a lot of criticism so just reading off the start totally ridiculous that this isn't available online most of the country is in tier 2 slash 3 and we should be limiting our trips out and there's just a sea of things like that you know should have put them on your website when there's a pandemic going on so I guess I'm not going to get this mythical like there's just so much hate on this tweet that we don't want to add to at all but it certainly is a conversation worth having. It definitely is a conversation worth having because I think, you know, they've really excluded themselves and put themselves, like you said, we can't say this is all game, but in endorsing this, they have put themselves at the front and centre in that they have excluded people with health conditions that can't leave the house for medical reasons. Like they said, there's tier, all these tiers going on in the UK meaning that non-essential shops are closed in some areas but also just that people with illnesses and things can't leave the house I know that you know both um, our sets of parents um, both of us aren't supposed to leave the house because of you know the pandemic and health issues and all that sort of thing so we kind of feel personally kind of hitting this because we both like the um, Pokemon Sword game and just in terms of increasing the risk for everyone like it's going to be bad enough at this time of year because it's christmas so christmas shopping everyone is going to be out they're going to be in town there's people that don't wear masks all that sort of thing and okay i could even excuse it if they'd done it in january where normally people don't have money so there's not as many people in the shops but this is the busiest time of the year for you know shopping centers all that sort of thing where you'd go to your local game and yeah i just think that given again just this time of year especially the risk attached to it just has lacked any consideration yeah like we are literally what two weeks away from christmas and we've just come out of a lockdown and bearing in mind obviously um, I'm not going to act like, you know, everyone in this country is united in some, like, fear of COVID or anything. Like, I th I would say at least 40% of people are just going out there willy-nilly right now. And whilst, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, as much as people, you know, like us, we don't agree with it. It's one of those things where this decision, this PR decision or, or whatever, almost normalises that behaviour. Which is, I guess, fine in and of itself, but then it's completely inclusive and it's a double whammy as content creators. Like, I loved making those videos for, you know, Pikachu and, you know, how to get them as the mystery gift. And it's kind of like, even if we were to risk going to game to get this event, it's then a situation where, is it even right to make content about it? Like, would I be happy going on a video saying oh my gosh this is such an awesome pokemon you can get this if you go out to the shop and, and download yeah. it and it's like i mean certainly it's awful if we're gonna have people watching this like our videos i personally wouldn't want to condone going out like the vac the first as of recording this the first vaccine was given in the uk today like it's out there it's been launched and so do you know what if the person that's had the vaccine wants to go to the shop then fair play to them but until that's released to the general public, I think, you know, things should still be completely reserved, essential shops only, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I just don't think that anybody should 
you know, even subscribe to our channel if we did something that stupid. I mean, it is, and it is awful though because it's a situation where I would personally like to see us grow on the platform, and it's like an inherent disadvantage to smaller creators who wouldn't be willing to go out and get this as well. I mean. One thing I want to do is, I guess, try and see games' perspective on this, if this is kind of their wrongdoing. For starters, obviously with the lockdown, um, another side of that beyond the pandemic is how much it's damaged the economy. So with shops being closed, there's a lot of businesses that can't pay their staff, that can't pay themselves. It is very difficult. Yeah. So if you imagine, what is game... Like what? What? What's more, most likely to be profitable to game to be able to go on, send them an email, or press a button, and instantly get a code you can download, or have them go in the shop yeah. and see what they've released for Christmas? You know the kind of target audience thing they do, where they have things displayed at the back of the counter, all these kind of little uh -huh. gifts, the plushies, all the kind of merch that will catch your eye that you might not be as aware of because obviously you can see the games coming out online, but they also do these like little bits and like accessories that you maybe wouldn't be aware of so you know that could entice people to buy them so i can see from a retail perspective why they would do this however i think it is far too exclude like it, it excludes far too many people as we can see from twitter there has been so many people um speaking against this and i'm personally gonna back them because like I said, um, JV is the biggest Pokemon fan I've ever met, and I would love it if he could get this, but I also, you know, care about him too much to be like, okay, well, go and get yourself it, because yeah. it is just not a safe place to do that. And it's like, it's very, very, I don't know, I don't want to call it scummy, but I'm going to say it's scummy if this is the intention. If you imagine, if someone really, really, really has to have this, regardless of risk, if they send one of their parents, if they go themselves, whatever the situation may be, if someone is in-game, scared out of their mind about the virus or about taking proper precautions, but hey, Christmas is coming up, it's okay, I know that I'm in the shop now, I know that this is scaring me and i also know that i don't want to come back here in the foreseeable future but it's christmas so now i have to go and buy something and that's the thing if it's literally scaring people to go and buy things because they know that they don't want to make a second trip out yeah that's just awful and can we just say that it says you just need to speak to somebody in store how do you know there's not more attached to it like this like oh well if you buy this from our store today then that's how you get the code i mean so to, they just say don't doesn't it just say to speak to someone in yeah, store you, you are actually risking someone. going out without knowing the full kind of terms and things attached to this like i said there could be this caveat where there's this mini figure of it that say 5.99 that you need to buy they've literally just kind of teased people out of their house without knowing any circumstances around it i mean from my experiences with these limited experience because they don't often do them in the uk or at least not where i guess i've been but it is only supposed to be you, t you speak to them and they get a code now i don't know how valid these claims are but some people are saying they went into a shop and you know they were told that they had to buy something you know um yeah and it's crazy there's all there were also talks about game doing this online you know, digitally which i think would have been a great move and again i'm not sure the validity of this proof but there's an email here that kind of it was regarding mythical pokemon zarud and game actually a game help allegedly replied to this person saying hi name i don't know if they want that said publicly but hi such and such this is an in-store purchase only currently kind regards customer service game it says purchase though again it makes it imply like you're having to leave the house without knowing what's fully attached to it mm, i mean it is i don't know i didn't expect there to be this outcry on it because again i'm a bit of cynical with like people yeah following the do you rules. know what i actually have a better opinion of the population at large after seeing this the amount of people that are still saying i aren't going out because you do see a lot of people who are but it just goes to show that the you know there is this really kind of sensible audience for this like product that just aren't going to receive it out of 
having common sense. And there doesn't seem to be any reply to this, like, someone tweeted at Nintendo UK, at Pokemon News UK, you guys gonna sort out the fact that game is now encouraging the spread of the virus, what happened to the giveaway on the website? And you'd understand if they just did this tweet out and saying, you know, even if it was just something simple as uh, online event to be announced, because whilst it is prioritising the people that are going to go out, that in, a, in and of itself isn't such an evil thing. I guess as a content creator, it would be a shame to miss out, but that's not really important when you get it. But the fact that there's not even been, not even on the visual here, a, you know, online event coming soon in small print. It just says, receive Zarud, get your code at the counter. See, what I think is really interesting, because we do have the advert in front of us right now, okay, is game is honestly taking all the punches here. Like, it's posted um, on the game, on game's Twitter. If you look at the advertisement itself, the word Nintendo isn't even on there, it's just game. So they are literally right at the forefront of this. And for all, we saw there that there are some comments kind of reaching out to Nintendo. I feel like game, the, like, just you know the directors and everything in game really should have thought this through um I, I don't know i actually don't know how much game is to blame though because ugh, i don't know how valid this is or if i was just being trolled as a kid but this used to happen ages ago there was this shop locally here that used to be associated with nintendo before it, i guess changed hands or moved but for these events i think they used to have these little boxes or chips that almost got you past either a firewall or a paywall to allow you to get these codes and they said that they could do these online events because they still had one so i don't know if it's just certain stores have i guess uh, an allowance or i guess uh, an availability to get these codes and if they physically wouldn't know how to do it online if the, even if they had but then again someone behind this game twitter account has physically gone out the way to not put this on hold yeah, and that being said okay jb said what if it's that every star has their own allowance then why isn't this on like local pages like oh we have 50 remaining so people know not to bother going into town and risking themselves after you know their local one is surpassed that allowance so there's just no clarification i don't think they've covered the surrounding details anywhere near enough and quite frankly it's just a stupid idea that they've only put this as an in-store thing like look as someone in tier 3 area with no store in my immediate location it's pretty abysmal that you do not allow an online code option going forward i hope you can provide online access to those who can make it to one of your stores in person and that's another thing right you as someone from the countryside where there, what, what, when, where's your okay. local game? The half an hour away? An so hour away? So my nearest game growing up used to be half an hour away. That did recently close. It is now an hour away. So you would in fact look at, be looking at going into a completely different area. I think if you look at our tier system, there isn't actually a game within that area. So you'd have to be breaking lockdown to go to a different area just to get to your nearest store and not only that if you're in tier three you can't even leave that area so you're breaking lockdown to move across it's just bizarre it's absolutely stupid i mean i i really don't like criticizing people on the channel i don't like getting angry or upset or anything like there's so many controversies that have happened that i've just thought fine you know i am angry about this i'm upset about this but there's so many other creators that are experiencing that more or that have more to say and at this point i'll just be trend hopping but when or it's something. pokemon they're going straight yeah. for your heart aren't they jb <laughs> well, just, i feel that as a creator in the uk and a lot of people don't you know and a lot of creators that i'm aware of are in the us and as far as i'm aware no one's spoken about this and so it's like with the other controversies it's like i didn't really feel like i had anything new to add to the conversation but with this i think i've got quite a lot to say as someone that kept up with the kind of pandemic as it was evolving and online events as well like i've been keeping you know kind of aware of all the game conventions that have closed down um, I've been listening to the Pokemon podcast when they were talking about how Pokemon Go recently removed some of their kind of pandemic and, safe And do you know what? Not only that, you did videos of all the new, um, uh, what was it, Pikachus yeah. that you could get. So we can see that this function via an online code would work. They could drop it on Twitter and everyone could access it that way. So we do know that this is a feasible thing 
to do online. And even if they wanted it to have a bit of gravitas, they have recently released Pokemon Home functionality with Go. They could do something with that. They could do it as a trailer for some new Pokemon thing, like, you know, watch the trailer to... Because if we're looking at game doing this to bring in some extra purchases, you could release a trailer of something that game's doing for Christmas, some merch that they're doing, and when you've watched it to the end of the trailer, you get the code. So that way they can still kind of cash in a little bit, but they're doing it in a safe environment. Oh, even... A thing where they can make sure that people that are playing Pokemon Sword, and this is going to be very, very, I guess not good for game, but good for the Pokemon company in general. If they make it, and I'm not condoning this, but I think it would be a wiser move, if they made it exclusive to people that had the DLC in yeah. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Do you know what? I think I'd even be happier if they made it an additional kind of DLC. You have to pay, say, £2 for it, something like that just to get the code to download the thing that's fine that in itself is a lot better like if this is if if it's a financial move by game or whatever like i would prefer to do that than have to go into a store right now like genuinely, genuinely. and do you know what it says to speak to w one of like the people in store okay so there's going to be cues at the tills so you're not going to go to the tills where there's the safe glass panels it's just going to be you speak to someone walking around the shop to speak to somebody you have to get closer than that two meter distance and so just the entire thing in itself within the store is a risk they're bringing more people into the store again increasing the risk it honestly is just and I think America did this online, so it's not like it's even impossible. And with the... Oh, who was it? Um, there was a Pokemon that they released recently, Zero Aura, where it was an amazing event for the community. You know those raids that sometimes I do with friends where you can yeah. battle um, Gigantamax Pokemon, Dynamax Pokemon? And basically, if, you, if the community in total defeated a thousand or a million of those guys remember, everyone with yeah. pokemon home got sent a shiny one if they did something like this like anyone who goes to like the isle of armor or the crown tundra and defeats a million a million of these zaroos and you know what you that would home. be so much nicer because think about it right okay if you're doing this you're going out and you're risking getting the virus hence why jb's pot on here gotta catch covid which i thought was quite an impressive line from him okay but imagine if you did it similar to that you're actually looking at improving people's mental health because like jb said he reached out to some of his school friends they all kind of banded together and tried to do this raid so it's actually better for people mentally physically to have done something like that oh gosh and someone here it kind of set, set up a conspiracy, but at this point it wouldn't surprise me. Weird way of spelling PS5 restock. <laughs> so it could be that they've just got these systems in store and they're just enticing people in. Yeah, it is definitely that they've got some move that they're planning. Like you said, if the US can get this online, it's clear that this is some kind of intervention from game, which, to be fair, we know do have some quite close work uh, relations with Nintendo. They um, had an exclusive Lego Mario set, which wasn't available anywhere else. So they do seem to have a lot of power. And I think, ultimately, for all we can say, maybe Nintendo's agreed to this, Pokemon's agreed to this. Ultimately, it couldn't have gone this far if game had, if game had said no. And so I'm very much putting them at the forefront of this blame. Hmm. I mean... I don't want to say it because, again, I don't know, but... Yeah, I'm quite com more comfortable being a bit more controversial than JB, admittedly. It does seem like they are the ones at least condoning this, you know. I think if I was in charge of game, even if that was the only option, to just say... Maybe say it to people that are already in store. Again, there'd be a lot of people angry because they'd miss out on it. But if people want to go to game and risk it, fine, that's absolutely fair enough. You know, then you can tell people, but to like full on dangle it in people's faces. Now, yeah, I guess there's some positivity. I'm not going to say full names, but there's this kind of hero on Twitter, Ryan, who actually says for anyone who can't get a code, who wants to, for anyone who needs a code but can't go out since game refuses to do the online code, sign up here for a newsletter from GameStop and get the code at the end of the week. So, 
I'm not sure if that works, but if this helps people, I'm willing to add it into the description. But isn't GameStop US? GameStop is US. I'm not sure if it's so like it might not be platform. compatible with an EU Switch, right? But it could be. Here's the thing. Look, sign up between November thirteenth and December thirteenth to get a free Zarude Pokemon code. And okay, if this works, one. It's irresponsible as heck for game to not link people this site themselves. But also, it kind of... I don't know. It kind of, like, lessens how bad this is, given that it isn't impossible for people to get it. Again, this will be in the description. Not sure if it works. I guess I'll be trying it out, and then if it does work, maybe make some content saying this is how you can get it safer. But, oh, this is such I mean a bad PR move. I agree, and I think it's actually worsened it by the fact that we know that this exists now because game aren't providing this alternative. They aren't marketing this alternative. They are trying to get people through the doors to make these cheap sales, thinking that when people see their other things in the store, they're going to buy something. And JB, you've got a slightly more business-related family than I do, so I'm going to put this question to you. What would you prefer? Would you prefer the kind of mentality that somebody might come into your store and on the off chance that they aren't about to like have some kind of accident they are that anxious about been out during covid they act they just glance at some plushie on the counter for 3.99 and decide to pick it up would you prefer that that you know slight chance of a purchase or would you prefer not to have your name dragged through the dirt and just make this an online thing. I mean, it depends, because on one hand, you could market it. Like, Game could say, this is what we were going to do. However, I urge you to sign up to this newsletter because it's safer. And I'd imagine that would gain the respect of the community yeah. as a whole. But then again, I don't know Game's numbers. I don't know how bad they were hit by the pandemic. And if they're about to go under, and this is a kind of you know besides ps5 restocks and everything if this is the last ditch attempt to boost sales before i guess the next quarter or even you know the start of the next year do you know, I don't know. do you know what sorry to interrupt you jb i'm gonna say that they're actually being ridiculously selfish because i get what you're saying here but one thing we need to consider okay is the increase of any console sales just at the start of this pandemic. So earlier in this year, game had a huge influx of people that were wanting Switches, Xboxes, Playstations, so many more games so they could entertain themselves through the lockdowns. Think about the percentage that Nintendo's takings went up because of the pandemic. So you can see that game would have had to have had a similar trend. So you know what? If there were other stores that should be close to closing because of this pandemic and they were doing something similar to this, I get it. But I think game had such a boost at the start of this year with people wanting consoles and games and all that sort of thing to keep themselves entertained for the pandemic. Then it's their fault if they didn't budget that across the pandemic when they knew it was coming and they had all that additional custom before it began. Mm. I mean, all this is is assuming that game is responsible for this they're definitely responsible for tweeting it out i don't know if they were contractually obliged to but they definitely have had a very good year because there's been so many trending things so many fads obviously there's the two new consoles to the, um this year which wouldn't have been around last year there's all the hype that was around lego mario so animal many new crossing. games yeah Think animal crossing animal crossing old. oh my gosh do you um, know what? Oh. If it wasn't for the pandemic, I will go as, as far as to say they'd have sold half the amount of copies of that game because people would have been too busy. We we certainly wouldn't have had the game if it wasn't for the pandemic and needing something different to do. The Animal Crossing switches went out of stock. Switches everywhere in this country were going out of stock because people wanted something to entertain themselves during the lockdown and it seemed to be the most family-friendly console because Nintendo are just brilliant normally. So... Honestly, I'm going to say, game. honestly, it's inexcusable that they are trying to get people through the door for a cash grab. I mean, even assuming that most of these Animal Crossing sales came from Amazon and stuff, you have to imagine a lot of people would have pre-ordered them that game. Yeah, and do you know what? If uh, They were sold out everywhere, okay? So at some point, people are going to have gone to game and been like, oh, if they sold out on Amazon, let's try game online. 
Yeah, I mean that's what I tried. Um, I tried game online halfway through lockdown. What was I trying to get? I think I was trying to get a Switch Lite, and I, the first place I checked, yeah, I was looking for a Switch Lite bundle with Breath of the Wild, and game was completely sold out of all the consoles, all the amiibos, everything. And you know what? We don't even know if the game got the restock of amiibo cards, which would have got them a substantial yeah. chunk of change. So I'm going to say it's inexcusable that game have decided to do this. And honestly, check the description. JB is going to put that newsletter in there for you guys to try and get this without the risk. Because honestly, you know game aren't caring about the community right now and we always try and build a community in the comments and all that sort of thing and we want to make sure all you guys are taken care of so please 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 check the description and just try and activate that newsletter so you don't have to risk going out like game might be trying to make people take risks but we're going to try and find a way around it for you guys i mean it is sad because i guess what i would like to do if this is games fault is obviously you know not support them in the future not order stuff from them but in the uk it's like what option do we have you know we can't it's not just like canada or america where there's GameStop, there's eb games there's like game yeah Direct, a game is literally Walmart, it. target there's there's game is it here pretty much i mean you can get, buy stuff at curry's pc world yeah. but you know you'd be going in there for other stuff anyway and supermarkets and things seem to have a lot of games and that sort of thing and do you know what just amazon we have Prime, it's free delivery. I just wish that Go there was, Amazon. at this point, a local... Like, like, okay, I guess if you can, when it's safe, go and support local places that maybe are run by, I guess, people within your community or even smaller businesses that could have these games. That would be the ideal. Because I just think these corporations have become so out of touch. Yeah, and I think, honestly, games really shown its true colours here in that it's not about the people anymore, it's about their money. And, honestly, if they budgeted themselves better when there was the first pandemic, they wouldn't be looking at having any issues at all right now. Yeah. I mean, it's sad to see. But, look, if this GameStop thing works, then I hope every single person watching this doesn't lose out. And, again, I don't know how much this video is going to help people because our analytics show that a good 70 80 percent of people are in the u.s so i guess to you lucky folks that get the code online i guess how would you all feel if everything was going to be in store would you feel comfortable going out to do that would that be something you guys would be interested in you know is this just a huge overreaction from us you know we, we don't know because from me right now if there was two options i wouldn't mind if there was the option to go out yeah i wouldn't agree with how it's encouraging people to go out but it's still the option but it's then for, the common sense element yeah. you know if you've got a you can then make the conscious decision to not go out whereas now it seems like they're pushing you yeah. to do it so anyway guys thank you so so much for listening like jb said please drop your thoughts on this below uh maybe we did go a little bit hard on game here but honestly i just think it's inexcusable so i do apologize for anybody that may have got offended by any part of what we were saying in this video it's just some thoughts that we're actually quite passionate about given the situation in the world at the minute and just do you know what how long some people have had to go without seeing their families for this pandemic yet game can think it's perfectly excusable to go into a store even if you can't you know go and check your family you're okay you can go and get a new pokemon which Honestly, the priorities there are just disgusting. Anyway, so guys, please let us know your thoughts on this. JB will let you know down below if the um, newsletter is working. We really recommend checking that out so you guys don't have to put yourself at risk. We hope that you are staying safe this holiday season. Please, please be careful wherever you can. Um, we appreciate you guys watching this so, so much. If there is anything else that you would like our opinion on, our thoughts on, or just to see on the channel, you can comment that below. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We do try and stay up to date with all things Nintendo, any new releases, any new news as you can see with this, and also any kind of deals and stuff happening in the eShop. We try and cover everything Nintendo. So guys, if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. JBN Miller.